braving the rain, Greeks take to the streets, protesting the presence of German Chancellor Angela Merkel in capital Athens. Most Greeks blame Germany for the last four years of austerity measures in Greece that has seen unemployment and poverty hit record highs. Angela Merkel is unwanted here. She has inspired and enforced austerity policies that dehumanized millions of Greeks. She is here to make sure austerity will continue and to lend a helping hand to a government that is quite literally falling apart. But even a German chancellor cannot keep this government going for much longer. Only a few weeks before Greek municipal elections, anti austerity the sentiment seems to focus on how both the country's mammoth 340 billion euros debt and the current government are mutually unsustainable. Greek politicians, including main opposition party Syriza, syndicators, workers and students, say Berlin provides pre-electoral support for the Greek pro-austerity government against public opinion polls that steadily observe its dwindling pre-electoral performance. We are boycotting German products in Greece since we believe that German foreign financial policy is aggressively imperialistic and this will soon lead Greeks to judge our politicians according to their degree of involvement in the implementation of these policies. Opposition politicians are also bringing back into view the long-standing issue of German World War II reparations owed to Greece promising to pursue it in the courts if and when elected. Despite declining a meeting with main opposition series, the party says Angela Merkel will eventually have to deal with the issue of war reparations towards Greece, according to which Germany owes the country some 160 billion euros for war compensations for atrocities committed here by Nazis during the Second World War. The amount is half the size of Greece's current debt. This is Kostin Venizelos, Press TV Athens.